How engineers do it? Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It. So share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. In this video, we will see two easy ways to create dynamic chart in Excel. So the first way is to format this table as a table using the format as table in the styles. This is the first method. You can take the table here and go for insert and create this chart and if you add for example Jan 2021 then your your chart is gonna update that particular value in this alright this is the first way now I'm just going back and I'm removing the format as table option and we look at the second way now the second way is by using the command offset and the name manager in the formulas tab. Now let's quickly see how we can do that. Now go to the formulas tab and go for names manager. I'm just going to remove whatever is there in this and I'm going to add a new I'm going to add a new new entry in this. So the first one is going to be sales. And here what you can do is you can put offset open bracket and over here what you need to do is your starting reference is the second cell and go to the next option. Now it's asking for how many rows down. So nothing so one comma and how many columns so I'm just uh, gonna put another co comma and over here what is the height so here I'm going to use a count a function count a then open bracket and in here select this cell control shift down down arrow button and down arrow button once again now close bracket and the next option and finally you can close the bracket all right click on ok now your sales is created now again go for new and here you can type month and here again select the offset put the offset and what's your reference your reference is the starting month here so that's uh, b2 and uh, then how many rows down that's nothing how many columns right that's nothing and then count a now I have to count the number of cells from here till down right so I'll just click on that cell and control shift down down All right so it's going to count how many cells whatever cells which are not empty alright now close this and one comma and then close the bracket all right that's it done now you have the month and the sales now we'll just go back here and all you need to do is you need to insert a fresh chart so just insert a fresh chart and go for select the data and in here you need to select the sales right so just write sales and here you have to write sheet exclamation all right now function f3 and select the sales here click on ok friends is not valid yeah sheet it's not sheet exclamation it's sheet one exclamation you can see sheet one right so that's working and again come back here and in here you can again type sheet 1 exclamation now function f3 and here you can select the month alright now that's done click on ok 
and you have this beautiful chart being created. Now let's see if this is dynamic. Now I'm just adding January 2021 and I'm also adding uh, some values. I'm just dragging this down. You can see that the value has been added to the chart. All right. I can keep adding uh, maybe some values here. So you can see that how much of our values I add, the values are going to get updated. So this is also another way of doing the dynamic chart. So it's important that however you can uh, do uh, by using the table method, it's important how you can use the name manager uh, with respect to a chart because there are certain cases where you need to create uh, a dynamic chart. I've, I've explained already, I've explained one uh, about uh, creating a, a completely dynamic chart with multiple slices which I have explained previously in my video. So I'll also uh, leave the link to that video in the description box below in which I have shown uh, uh, why using this method is important, uh, you know, using the name manager and making the chart dynamic. Why is that important has been explained in that video. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this was meant to be a very simple video. And uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.